And with just 49 days now to Election Day, we wanted to take a closer look at how states are preparing for what promises to be an election season unlike any other, including an influx of mail-in ballots. So let's begin now with Kathy Bookvar, the Secretary of the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, who leads the state's voting efforts. Thank you so much, so much for joining us, Kathy. Thanks for having me on. So give us a sense of the numbers that you're seeing on absentee ballot requests compared to 2016. And of course, it's now mid-September and Pennsylvania still has yet to finalize its ballot. So is the state prepared to handle that increased demand for mailed ballots in time for the election? Yes, absolutely. So we've already received uh, just under 1.9 million uh, applications for mail-in or absentee ballots. Uh, and just for context, about 300,000 or so uh, voters voted by mail, voted absentee in the 2016 primary. So it's quite an increase. However, in the primary of 2020, we already had had almost 1.5 million voters vote by mail. So it, the counties have been working around the clock to make sure that they have what they need, the resources in place, equipment, staffing, and so forth, and they will get it done. The Pennsylvania NAACP sued the Commonwealth this summer to ensure adequate polling locations and procedures are available in November, saying the consolidation of polling locations during the primaries disproportionately impacted minority communities. So will there be fewer polling sites in November and can the state ensure low income and minority areas will not be disadvantaged? No, so and that case was actually thrown out last week, but um, but I'm happy to say that the law that covered the June 2nd primary only applied to June 2nd. So we had Act 12 of 2020 passed in March. It changed the primary date from April 28th to June 2nd. And it also allowed broad-based consolidations solely for that day. It expired that day. We were in the middle of the surge of the pandemic. Now we go back to the normal. So every county is planning on having normal or close to normal numbers of polling places. Voters can expect that those polling places will be in their communities as they always are every year. Now, the County Commissioners Association of Pennsylvania told ABC News last week that some counties are struggling to find enough poll workers due to the pandemic, especially as traditionally older poll workers opt out this year. So what's being done to recruit more poll workers and to make plans to, to keep everyone safe who does decide to vote in person? So many things. And I'll tell you, you know, my first job in elections was as a poll worker, so I'm particularly uh, drawn to this as this is, you never feel more like you're part of democracy as you do when you are helping every American exercise their right to vote. So we have been out there working with businesses get to give their, their employees a day off and urge them to be poll workers. One of the most exciting uh, partnerships this year has been the athletes elections partnerships. So we've had the Pittsburgh Penguins were the first uh, National Hockey League team in the nation to declare that they would be collaborating with us. So they're giving their, all their staff the day off and urging them to be poll workers. Uh, we just had the Philadelphia 76ers announce we're working working with several other of our major sports teams. Um, many businesses are encouraging their, their, their staffs to be poll workers. And we have a site at, w, at votespa.com where we've been recruiting poll workers to sign up. And we've just in the last couple of months had tens of thousands of new volunteers sign up. So it's been very encouraging. But but Pennsylvania needs 40 to 45,000 poll workers every year. So please go to votespa.com and sign up to volunteer today. As you are well aware, I'm sure Pennsylvania could very well decide the election. So how long do you expect it could take for final results to be known there in particular if it can't be counted until election day? Should voters expect more of an election week instead of an election night? So I would say, you know, an election couple of days. Um, you know, the counties are working really hard, like I said, to make sure that they have staff in place, equipment in place, processes in place to count quickly. However, we know that every voter, most importantly, wants the votes to be counted accurately. 
and on top of that, count it accurately as quickly as possible. So the single most important factor that we're very much hoping happens is for our state legislature to allow counties to start pre-canvassing those ballots weeks before election day. We've been advocating for this with the legislature for months to have 21 days to give the counties the ability to get this done quicker. So far, uh, that has not come to fruition, but there's still time. We're hoping this week the legislature takes action and passes, makes this happen, recognizes this is in the best interest of everybody. So, Kathy, with Election Day, as we said, less than two months away, is there anything in particular that keeps you up at night as you prepare for the election? So, you know, misinformation and disinformation is one of the biggest challenges that we have as election officials and um, and as voters and as candidates and as a nation. And, you know, Twitter and Facebook and social media of all kinds, it makes it too easy to click that retweet button. So we've been working really hard with the National Association of Secretaries of State, the Department of Homeland Security, um, the FAP, the Federal Voting Assistance Program, to make sure voters know Check your information. Go to votespa.com. Call your county election office. Call our toll free number, 877 Votes PA. Make sure the information you're getting is accurate and correct. Don't believe that robocall. So, we're really hoping that you in the media, that you all can help us do that as well. Make sure that voters are going to make to trusted sources election information before they click that button. Kathy Bookvar, Secretary of the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, thanks so much for joining us tonight. Thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.